Today, we're gonna break down the differences between two of our best-selling polishers, the Flex 3401 Dual Action Polisher and the Porter Cable 7424 XP Dual Action Polisher. Both these machines are great for the beginner and professional detailer, so today we're gonna go ahead, break down the units, compare them, show the differences, and help you pick out the right machine for your application. So let's go down, check out the machines, and show you the exact differences between these two dual action polishers. I've laid out the Porter Cable 7424 XP and the Flex 3401 dual action polishers to show you the exact differences between the two machines. These are both dual action polishers, but the Porter Cable uses an eccentric offset to power the machine, while the Flex 3401 Dual Action Polisher uses a gear-driven offset. And I'm gonna show you guys the exact differences between the two once I open them up. You guys will notice right off the bat that the Porter Cable is a smaller unit. This gives it the advantage to get into smaller, tighter spots while still having the precision and power of a bigger machine. The Flex is a bigger body, but it's a more traditional rotary type uh, body format where it has a trigger and a uh, speed control on the side. Well, the Porter Cable 7424 XP has a smaller body with a variable speed on the bottom and a switch that turns it on and off. Now the Flex is actually a gear drive mechanism and I'll open it up to show you guys the difference. To remove the, fl uh, the Flex's hook and loop backing plate, you need to use the provided Allen key. I'm going to place the Allen key on the Allen bolt, unscrew it, make sure I remove it and the washer and pull off the backing plate. Now, now if you notice, the, the Flex 3401 uses gear drives with an offset eccentric. So it uses the gears on the pad and the gears on the machine combined with the eccentric to actually give a dual action that's forced. So I'm gonna put this back on here to show you guys what I mean by forced dual action. And that's where as I turn the head, uh, the head of the backing plate, the machine is forced into the dual action. That's because the gears inside the machine force that dual action every time a rotation is made. Let's pull it off to keep it, show you guys the difference. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Porter Cable 7424 XP using the provided wrench. The provided wrench is, is included with the Porter Cable and the provided hex nut is included, or hex key is included with the Flex dual action polisher. I'm gonna place the wrench underneath the machine and pop off the backing plate. There we go. Now you need to go ahead and remove the backing plate and the included washer because this washer provides proper clearance between the backing plate and the machine. Now with the two side by side, you will notice that the flex and the porter cable look very different, but they function very similarly as well. We have an eccentric off offset on this side, but you also have an eccentric offset on this side, but the added gear tooth pattern. Now the gear tooth pattern helps give a more powerful bite with the flex dual action polisher. This is a powerful 800 watt motor, and that helps remove swirls and scratches a little bit faster than the Porter Cable. Uh, it has more bite to the paint, as well as having more finishing capabilities because of the gear drive. The Porter Cable has its advantages as well because it can run a smaller backing plate. Both of these machines can run a five or a six inch backing plate, but only the Porter Cable 7424 XP can run a three inch backing plate. Three inch backing plates are very important because they allow you to polish mirrors, headlights, and smaller surfaces all over the vehicle. But both machines have their uh, advantages as well as their faults. Both uh, the Porter Cable machine cannot polish as fast as the Flex, but can they still achieve the same results uh, in the end. So if you have both, any one of these machines, you're still gonna be able to remove swirls, scratches, and oxidation to the highest level of perfection. The Flex may help you get it done just a little bit faster because of the gear drive pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble both of these uh, backing plates to show you guys how they assemble again. We'll start with the Porter Cable. The Porter Cable, you go ahead and place the backing plate with the included washer on the threaded hole. There we go. Insert your wrench to hold the bolt from spinning and then tighten down the backing plate. There we go. Now the Flex 3401 dual action polisher applies with the backing plate onto the surface, but you need to make sure that you align the uh, notches with the backing plate onto the machine itself. If it is not completely flush with the machine like it is now, uh, it will cause problems with vibration and wear on the machine. So let's go ahead and tighten back up the Allen bolt. 
And once it's bottomed out, all you need to do is tighten it just a little bit. Do not over tighten either of these machines. They do not need to be over tightened. You leave them snug and secure to finish the detailing job. Now you know the difference between these two awesome machines. Uh, so you can pick the right machine for your right application. Both of them are great for polishing paint. The Porter Cable is a, uh, better at getting the smaller, tighter areas, while the Flex is more powerful and allows you to polish uh, uh, more paint defects out without using any type of added force. So now you can go ahead and pick the right machine for your application. Now you know the differences between the Flex 3401 Dual Action Polisher and the Porter Cable 7424 XP Dual Action Polisher. Both of these machines are great for the professional and enthusiast detailer looking to take their detailing possibilities to the next level. If you have any more questions about any of these machines or polishing in general, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more excellent how-to videos, check out our Facebook for all of our cool specials and deals, or you can check out everything we use on these videos on chemicalguys.com.